Hi guys, my name is OZ and I'm currently at the Maltu area of Lagos State and we're here to explore the Badagri Expressway, the after effects of flooding on this road, what commuters are going through on this road, that's what me and you will see on this video. As you can see, there's the traffic flowing from Odeo for Orile, heading towards Yanoba and this is Doba Junction, right? Or this is what commuters go through on this particular axis. One very good thing is that this road was recently habilitated just a few months back. Now, this is the current condition of this road, and this is what commuters go through plying this road. Look at here, traffic is very, very free. But coming back here, as you can see, there are huge traffic just here, all thanks to this place. And this is what flooding is doing to this particular spot here in the um, Matu area. And this is what commuters go through. Just see for yourself. Coming with the fact that commercial drivers, that's down for drivers, they will stop here to pick passengers and the road is bad this is causing a lot of traffic here in mile two and all thanks to the flooding so this is it this is what, what commuters go through on this road like i showed you before back there you see huge traffic going on right here as you can see it's very very free traffic is very very free it's flowing freely here but just because of this particular route this particular spot here as you can see this is what we have right here in Maltu area of Lagos State okay In context, this is Badagri Expressway, which has been under construction for many years now. But this section of the road has been fully completed, even with the rail line fully running, which is known as the Blue Line. Due to high rate of flooding, this road is now a shadow of herself, leaving commuters applying this road in this condition. I will leave you to see what commuters go through on this road just from mile two to Doba Junction. Before then, I kindly ask that you subscribe to the channel to be part of this awesome family and also see our future updates. Please, you can buy me coffee. This is a way to fund and support our next project. This is the mile two area. This is Doba Junction. Now, I will leave you to see what commuters go through on this road. So this is what commuters go through on this road. I didn't down there.
I see what is happening here. All because vehicles have to go slowly. This is causing huge traffic on this corridor. See, this is what commuters go through on this road. The road is very, very bad. As you can see, it's very, 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 very bad. Oh, this is a very pitiable condition. See, this is this is the condition of the road.
This is a clarion call to the government, more especially to Lagosians and every other person watching this video right now. You have a role to play in ensuring we have a safer and healthier environment where we all strive and live happily. When you fail to dispose your well-being properly, it causes flooding and this is the after effect. You see, it can be me, it can be you driving on this road. More reason why you should ensure you do your part in ensuring we have a healthier and flood-free environment. The after effects of flooding don't just only affect our main road but also our streets. This is one of the popular places in Lagos known as Festac and this is what we have right on the road. So you can see this is what flood does to the main road. This is Festac area. If you're familiar with Lagos, this is Festac area and most of the road are in pitiable condition all thanks to flooding. Thank you for coming far with me on this video. At this point, I will kindly ask you follow the one showing next on your screen. See, I come away again, I remember your boy OZ. But before you go, kindly follow and subscribe to the channel. You can also support the channel monetarily by using the super thanks button. We can also buy us coffee. We also have a local bank account in the video description. It's a way to fund and support our next project.